Good evening, I'm Carolyn. I'm going to read Harry McClary's Catawall Caper by Lindley Dodd. With a twitch of his tail and a purposeful paw, down by the river crept Scarface Claw. He woke up a lizard, he startled a bee, he bothered a blackbird high in a tree. Higher and higher he sneakily snuck, but up in the branches he suddenly stuck. Roar, he yowled. Harry McClary was eating his meal, jelly meat, biscuits and a snippet of veal. All of a sudden he heard a strange sound, a yowling, a wailing that echoed around. Whoa! Yup, 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 said Harry McClary, and off he went. Hercules Morse was asleep in a glade with his tail in the sun and his head in the shade. Then came the sound that echoed around. Woof, said Hercules Morse, and off he went. Bottomly Potts was rolling about with his feet in the air, his tongue hanging out. Then came the sound that echoed around. Roar! said Bottomly Potts, and off he went. Muffin Maclay was having a bath in the old wooden bathtub at the side of the path. Then came the sound that echoed around. Ruff, ruff, said Muffin Maclay, and off he went. Bitsa Maloney was having a scratch as he lay in the sun in the strawberry patch. Then came the sound that echoed around. Roar, 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 roar said Blitzer Maloney, and off he went. Schnitzel von Krum was dug in a, digging a hole in his favourite spot by the passion fruit pole. Then came the sound that echoed around. Roar, said Schnitzel von Krum, and off he went. Puffin and panting, impatient to see, together they came to the foot of the tree. They sniffed and they snuffled, they bustled around, and they saw what was making the terrible sound. Yip, yip, said Schnitzel von Krum. Bo, wo, wo, said Bits and Maloney. Ruff, ruff, said Muffin Maclay. Ro, 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 said Bottomly Potts. Woof, said Hercules Morse. Yup, 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 said Harry McClary, and roo, said Scarface Claw. The din was so awful that uphill and down you could hear the cacophony all over town. Miss Plum brought a ladder and they climbed up the tree. She rescued old Scarface, at last he was free. With a flick of his tail and a shake of each paw, off at a gallop went Scarface Claw. And back to their business and Donaldson's dairy went all of the others with Harry McClary. Thank you, good night, stay safe.